Is that a dog? It's the weirdest bark I've ever heard. What's up guys, it's Crystal here and for today's video I am going to be reviewing a product that is closer to home for me and they're sold here in America. You can buy it basically at Target or Walmart or whatever that has a Maybelline section. And the reason why I want to review products that are closer to home is so that I actually don't care where the product is from. I mainly want to do reviews on any product no matter what country it's from that I can get my hands on so that it gives you guys a wider variety as well as a chance for those who can't get their hands on a specific product and that they have more of a range that they can get you know certain products from wherever that's closer to you guys if that makes any sense um, but I am just trying to experiment around what I can so it's more helpful for you guys uh, especially for those who just can't get your hands on certain specific products and there are some products that you can actually get a hold of so without further ado the products that I'm reviewing today is actually a blush it's a cream ish blush and it's from Maybelline's baby skin series it's the cheek instant cheek flush blush here and this is actually something new for me I've always used powder brushes so this is kind of like the first time I've used a cream like blush uh, but basically I purchased these at my local Target store they're $5.99 each so they're a little bit pricey uh, it does come with 4.5 grams or 0.16 ounces of product and so it's kind of in a really unique um, packaging. Basically, that's kind of what it is. And I believe this came out in 2015, last year. So this isn't really a new product. And basically, this is a two-in-one. So it's kind of a blush version of the Baby Lips chapstick, which I do have two of those. I actually really love the Baby Lips series. So that's why when I saw this, I really wanted to try it. And I read that you can actually use this on both your lips and your cheeks. So if you want a two-in-one, then you can basically go ahead and give this a try. But let's just go ahead and go over how to use this product for those who've never tried a kind of cream blush before. So basically, you just want to take the blush and basically apply it on your cheeks like this. And you can either use a blush brush or a stiffle brush or you know like a beauty blender if you want for me I'm just gonna go ahead and use my BB cushion uh, beauty blender and just basically blend it out and that's kind of all you do you want to you actually want to be careful how much you put on your face uh, with this it could either be too light or too dark when you put it on so try to blend it out to your best abilities and I'm just quickly blending it so I'm not paying too much detail to what I'm really doing. But yeah, that's kind of basically all you do. It's very quick and easy to use this blush. Now that I showed you guys how to use this blush, let's go ahead and travel back about a month ago uh, when I first used this product and my first impression of it. Hey guys, I'm here with my first impression for Maybelline's Baby Skin Instant Cheek Flush. What it looks like. So I got two of the colors. I got it from Target and they only had two colors so far. So the colors I got was Pinking Pinking? Pinking of You and Pop of Peach. So Pinking of You is a not it's like a more darker, kind of more nude-ish pink color, and this pop of peach is kind of like a corally kind of color. I got both colors because I think you know one is more perfect for like a natural kind of makeup, and another one is for like a more splash of color kind of makeup. So, let's go ahead and open. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and try the Pinking of You, which is the nudish, darker pink color. As you can see, it has a pretty interesting design. And it comes like this, the color's down here. So. so here are the two colors. These are the names of the colors. When you twist it, kinda looks like a bomb kind of blush. And I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch to you guys these blushes. So Pop of Peach and Pinking of You. So as you can tell, this one has like a more orangey undertone, coral-like, and this one's a lot more darker in terms of the pink, so. And I believe there's actually four colors to this blush, but at Target, they only had two colors, and so I'm not actually 100% sure. But there you go, my swatches. Now this blush is kind of like a cream kind of blush. I've always only tried 
powder brushes, but I decided to give this a try when I saw it at Target and uh, this is my first time trying a cream blush. I heard cream blushes are more preferred, especially for a more natural looking kind of blush. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this out and I'm gonna use my fingers to apply this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this on. So I already have like my face of makeup. So let's go ahead and put this on. It's kind of thick and sticky. I'm gonna pat it into my skin. Do you see it? It's very subtle which is what I prefer and blend it outwards yep I don't know if you can see it but it's very subtle I prefer it subtle so it is a little bit sticky it does kind of feel a little thick I can definitely for me I can definitely feel like the blush is there on my face <laughs> on camera it looks like you can't even see it at all but I'll probably uh, since this is my first time using a cream kind of blush I'm pretty sure I'm gonna the more I try it out, the more I'll probably get used to applying it on my face and... But of course, I'm gonna go ahead and try this out for the rest of the day and I'll let you guys know at the end of the day what I think of it for the first time using this... Ooh! The first time I think of this blush. For the blush, I wore it for 10 hours and basically I did have to put a little bit more on to make it a little bit more showy. Earlier it wasn't showing that much so I just applied a little bit more on and then I just used one of the BB Cushion sponge applicators to blend it all out. It worked a lot better than my hands did and it doesn't feel like it was basically suffocating my pores or anything like that. It's lightweight, pretty easy to use, uh, very natural, blends up with your skin very nicely. Welcome back to a month later and I'm gonna go ahead and go over my one month impression of this product. The reason why I didn't do a two week or three week impression for this is because I actually didn't use this blush every day. I used it every now and then um, as much as I could. It's just that I just found it a little difficult to pick up this blush and use it. Uh, I always found myself going back to a powder brush. So for this one month impression, I'm gonna start off with the cons instead of the pros. The Cons that I noticed, first thing I want to note is the packaging. Yes, it is very unique, but I do not see what the purpose of it being structured this way is. I found it a little annoying because you... Ah, I always ended up dropping this. I think it's just because I'm klutzy, but it's just like you're either holding it here to do it or down here. Like, there's no point of holding it down here, you just have to hold it here. I just don't see what the benefit is to shaping the product this way. I'm not sure. I think I would rather use kind of like a longer-ish, like elongated kind of blush where I can actually hold onto it and apply it to my face. Another con is that it's very sticky. Because it is a little sticky, you definitely want to set it with some setting powder. Uh, it can end up kind of shiny a little bit when you apply it. So it's very much so like the Baby Lips. It has like a sticky consistency. I found it kind of heavy when I first applied it on my face. It felt like my pores were being suffocated. Up until I started blending it, it didn't feel that way anymore, but when I first applied it, I didn't feel very comfortable with using this blush. I also want to state that it does go on very pigmented, which is like, oh, you're gonna end up looking like clown. Oh, that's kind of what I was afraid of. But when you blend it out, the color kind of disappears. Like, what the heck? It just doesn't seem very pigmented after that. So I don't know what's going on there. And if you keep layering it and trying to make the color show up more and more, you might end up looking like a clown with this. I find it a little difficult to control how much color of blush I want on my cheeks. I haven't really used this on my lips, so I don't really know how it's like on your lips, but in terms of the blush, that's what I noticed. Moving on to the pros, I don't, I can't really think of a legit pro for this product. I mean, it was $6 almost for this little product, and it's not even that pigmented as a blush. Uh, but basically, the only thing I can think of is when you get a better control of how much blush is ending up on your cheek, it actually looks very natural. So it does have a really pretty natural uh, look to it. Um, it just depends on how much you can either blend out or how much you are willing to layer on. And so that's the kind of reason why I have an issue with reaching for this product every time I do my makeup. I always end up with a powder blush again. I feel like this isn't really that cream-like. 
Um, it's kind of more like a gel tie. I keep going back to the cons instead of talking about the pros, but I can only think of one pro, and I can think of lots of cons for this product. But anyways, um, it's not, to me, I feel kind of like it's not creamy enough. I feel like it should be a little bit creamier, uh, but the colors are very gorgeous. I will admit that. I just wish that the colors didn't disappear so easily when you blend it out. Now, if you are the type of person that really likes the two-in-one kind of benefit, you don't mind layering the product on, then it will be perfect for you. But for someone like me who doesn't really like layering it on too much and finds it a little difficult to layer on this product and control the amount of pigment that's going onto my cheeks, I don't really like this product. I also think it's kind of a waste of money to buy this. It was $5.99 US dollars for this itty bitty little blush. I feel like you can probably get your hands on a better cream blush somewhere else with the cheaper pricing that will look way much more prettier and pigmented and easier to control. But that's how I feel about this Maybelline one. I feel like it's more of like a shiny gel and more like the baby lips chapstick than it is a blush. I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick to my powder blush. And in case you are wondering what powder brush I do use, the powder brush I do use is from the e.l.f. series. I also got this at Target. I think this is three US dollars, so it is a lot cheaper than the Maybelline one. And basically this one comes in two. It comes with a contouring, like a bronzer, and the uh, blush. This palette is actually really pretty. The thing is, is that if you don't like shimmers, then I would not get this product because both the bronzer and the blush has kind of like a golden-ish shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that. I wish I could show you, but the color is very pretty. I get a lot of compliments with using this blush. They, a lot of people say that it fits me so well and they really like it. And I also really like contouring my face with the bronzer here. It's very natural in my opinion when I put it on. So I really like using these, these two. Uh, I love how e.l.f. put it together and yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. So this is like my second one. Um, I've used this for about two years and a half already, but I actually really like this one. I will probably try more blushes in the future, maybe another kind of cream blush, but for now, I would like to say that I'm really not a big fan of Maybelline's baby skin cheek, instant cheek flush. I find like, I don't know, I just, when I saw it, I thought it was gonna be Amazing. I really thought it was gonna be really pretty. I really love the colors of this like honestly the colors are so pretty But it's just not working for me, and I would not purchase the product again I don't think it's really that much worth it I mean $5.99 for these for one like this itty bitty thing that the blush isn't really that great for I know this video has more of the cons and the pros of this product, but that's just my honest, honest opinion about these blushes. But I hope this video is something that was interesting to you guys. I know it wasn't a Korean makeup brand. Let me know in the comment sections down below if you do like that I'm kind of venturing to American brands as well. I would like to try to get my hands on makeup from other countries, not just Korean or Japanese or whatever. I definitely want to help you guys as much as possible in terms of figuring out whether a makeup is worth it or if not, or skincare as well. So. But uh, anyways, I hope that you found this video very helpful. If you do have any questions or comments, leave it in the comment section down below. I will try to answer those questions as best as I could. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!